when we judge others. Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well today. I just want to jump on and do a quick video because it seems like a lot of um, stuff that goes on social media about, you know, judging other people um, and seeing the worst in them instead of the best in them. And not that it may always be intentional, but we are seeing calling them out on certain things, you know. And I was just on their... Um, and there was this post towards certain people. And I do want to mention, though, like, although that they are maybe acting and, and responding and doing what they're doing, though, with your judgment, you're adding to it, right? And so you identifying with that is calling that uh, to you and out from them so you can see it. We are putting energy and intention towards that for that to become. Instead of seeing them in their love source being, right? Their higher self. And so to draw back to, and again, I'm not religious, but what Jesus would do is see the light within you, right? Not the negative uh, within you. Um, and so as we do that, we're projecting actually also what is within ourselves, the ability to judge and condemn others to their action, which is within them that fulfills the prophecy. So we're adding to it, allowing that lineage to continue to evolve from that space. And so whatever we're putting to it, we're a part of that because we're helping to create it. We're putting the energy towards that, which we focus on, right, which is the intention of their doing but if we're adding to it by focusing on what they're doing wrong in our eyes it's our judgment um, of what that is and then we're seeing them from that space because we all have the potential to be good and to do the things that are good right and so if we focus on the negative in people then we are focusing judging and putting our attention on that as well and so that goes to add to the mix of creating that instead of focusing our attention on the positive aspects aspects of them and how they can be helpful um, into the the world and so for you to add to that you have to see that in them you have to see it in yourself right and so that's projection of your reality based on who you are where you are and what you've been or what you're seeing or what you're deeming as good or bad, right? Which actually doesn't exist on the other side, right? It's all for good, right? Even in our worst moments. So, because it brings up the potential to be and to have more and do good from where we are, because then we're seeing where we are on the timeline, which allows us to change it. And so if we can't see that we're being bad ourselves, then we don't know it, right? And so what we deem as bad or good comes from the space of the heart. So that way you know where you are on the timeline from source love and to not source love. And so from that aspect, as we are judging and deeming and condemning others for their wrongdoings, it doesn't make it right or wrong um, or justified or in any way. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying we are putting our intention on that to help create more of the energy flows where we have our intention. And so with that, you know, having an understanding and basis of what we're doing in the midst of it, we are ourselves in judgment, right? And so we're creating stuff in our own judgments that we're holding ourselves to because it's our judgment towards others, right? We're condemning them, <laughs> you know, of who they are, and we're only praising them of what is their good. So if we focus on their good, then we can rise that up within other people. And that's what Jesus did. So in fact, like when we are, you know, doing the judgment, we ourselves are in judgment, right? And so it not just affects them, but us, right? And so we hold that in our own space until we're ruling to change our focus, right? And so it's not until we then realize we are in judgment of the other person, Right, and that goes to what Jesus said about casting stones, right? <laughs> to look at yourself first. 
So when you are yourself in judgment, why are you judging that aspect of themselves when we all have that within us, the ability to be either positive or negative, right? And so allowing ourselves to understand and know how that is and the conflict, you know, the conflow of that, um, or I should say the complexity of it, um, that allows us to understand it from a different perspective. Um, and Jesus has talked about it. Um, in fact, you know, he's dropping that in here now to, to show that for us at this time. Um, so that way we can um, just be more present with ourselves and what we're doing our actions, you know, every day um, at this time, especially at this time, because we're going to be going through a lot of changes. And so uh, knowing the aspects of you, you have the potentials to be, and it may not be the same thing that they're doing, and they just may be doing it on a level that you would never do, but doesn't make it right or wrong. It's just what we do and what's been our experience and who we are. For instance, if a person has grown up in a abusive family, of course, you know, that may be what they, they do, you know, they carry on because that's all that they know and they're limited to that framework. So is it really their fault on that level if they don't know any other or any better, right? We can't determine that for them, their own worth. They have to see it and know it for themselves. And then that's their own um, journey, right? And so whether they, that's their own punishment, right? And so we only punish and judge ourselves. We don't do it, you know, to another and source doesn't do it to you, right? And so we can only do it to ourselves, right? And so first ourselves, then others, right? And so for us to be able to judge another, we have to judge ourselves. What are we seeing? Why are we seeing that in the other person versus their good, right? And so use that as a telescope, you know, as you're going forward in your days uh, and as we're going to move forward and everything that's going to be coming up and around. I just want to kind of put that out there because there's going to be a lot of shifts and changes coming, uh, and, and, you know, for the earth and everything else as we're moving forward. And so I just wanted to drop that out there this morning for you. It's a beautiful morning. As you can see, the sun's out. It's pretty earlier usually than I get up. So I myself is still kind of waking up, um, but I felt guided to that. I wasn't really sure on what I was going to talk about today, but um, the essence of Jesus um, and had dropped in and then uh, to channel and give that information and that message. So yes, definitely, um, you know, just remember you come first and that's how it works. And I'm not saying that as far as like, you know, nobody else matters or that nobody else is important but we have to do ourselves first and then in that way then we can do the world right and so gandhi says you know be the change that you want to see in the world and so there's so there's we should right and so therefore we should um and and just allow that to be with you for a moment and see how that resonates and see where am i judging the world that i myself ain't being of and it doesn't mean that you're being and doing the same thing that others are doing but how are you doing things that aren't per se um, the way you want to be in the world as well, right? Because we do things all the time, you know, and even just being in judgment of others um, is, you know, doing that, right? So try to take a look at that and see how that, you know, resonates in your life and how that fits where that fits. And so what are you, what are you judging as and deeming as, bad or good, you know, and because that is actually, it doesn't exist only in the human form. We hear um, it doesn't exist on your side. And that's what uh, Jesus was talking about, you know, and so a lot of us don't understand, you know, that from this aspect of who we truly are. If we haven't gone through the awakening and understanding the full meaning and purpose of it. And then just try to understand it from that point of view, you know, anything can be on the negative side um, and that can be from like our children all the way up to our loved ones our grandparents you know a lot of us have done a lot of things even in our past lives and for what you see um, you may have done in a past life right and so you may have done that in your experience and so now you're judging it because you haven't let it go and healed it uh, from a past life so just be present and just accept other people and start showing and change that, transform it into love for that being and do that as your practice. See everything with love, right? And see 
how it starts transforming not only within you but outside of you and you see how the world transforms all right so wherever you can you know stop judging allowing and accepting and just sending out good vibes right instead of um, always focusing on the negative and we all have the aspects of being either um, and the challenge you know within us and the great practice is just to see everything through the eyes of love and so that way you just you transform yourself and you transform the world outside of you and so we challenge you right source guides angels and jesus to start viewing everything through the eyes and lenses of love right and so we can transform this energy and vibration of what's going on instead of judging it for its bad right and its deeds that's happening because a lot of times we do have to go through the midst of suffering to get to the good right and so just wanted to share that out there with you because i've been fine you know felt guided to have that um there for you um and definitely my hair is still a mess <laughs> um but yeah definitely you know take a look at that and see how that resonates and where you can you know look at everything from the space of love and not uh, judging and condemning it you know for those actions that people are playing a part in or a role in and experience and it doesn't give them permission allowing but it's you helping to change and transform the world by seeing through the eyes of love and so whenever you are in the face of something that isn't say how would source look at this how would jesus look at this if you follow jesus right because that is part of religion right because if you're going to say you are christian or religious then you should do the work and that's part of the work it's showing up as he did because he's a teacher you know it's not that you go through him but you follow him which means that you do as he does and he sees through the eyes of love which is source because he knew his divinity and his source and his trueness and so if you're following jesus then that is your path right and so looking at it from that point of view allow yourself to be out of judgment and into looking at it through the eyes of love which is the lenses of source right and so that is your highest being that you can ever be for anything and anybody including yourself right in your awareness and so when we take that perspective you know we're allowing ourselves to be in alignment with source right and so you are because you are in alignment with source you're allowing that to come through you and so then you are divinely connected right it's not outside of you bring it within yourself and that helps to change the world and the frequency outside of us and so then we don't see that anymore it's when we're looking at it through the eyes of that which is the negative that we are seeing it and bringing it into the world we're feeding it you know with our intentions our belief systems and our suffering of what we're seeing it from because we are all love it's our set point and we cannot change that that is forever ending um, because we always go back to source in the end right and so it's just while we're here temporarily that we are seeing from the opposite ends of the stream of consciousness to where we can see the negativity and play in the roles and the part in it and which brings it into our reality which then we uh, put our intention and judge it through that awareness right and so we're just contributing to it and creating it from that perspective when we can have the choice free will to change and choose something different from the point of love and expression of being which is our trueness right and so anytime we are in alignment with truth we are in love and anytime we're in love we are in source we are in alignment with source the trueness of who we truly are which is the expansion of awareness right and that brings more into you to that point from love right from that point of love which gives us the goodness and abundance of love right in abundance of health and wealth and well-being whereas like we're in the judgment on the screen of life uh, we are holding people in judgment so are we right so we're in that space of judgment allowing and aligning with that frequency ourselves right which brings us down um, into those lower realms that we're not wanting to be right and so having the experience of that and understanding what that means um, is momentum momentous <laughs> momentum i don't even know how to say the word momentum momentum <laughs> uh, you know what i mean um 
monumentum. Uh, so with that, um, and I like to keep it real, you know, I'm not going to like edit the videos, you know, because that's just who I am, you know, and I try to keep it as real as I can. Um, Cause if you meet me um, in person, I am as I am on camera. And so to be authentic and transparent, um, you know, just keeping with that. But anyway, um, monumental, I don't know, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> um, I'm still waking up, but just back to that, you know, the frame of reference is important. And so what are we going to be and how are we going to be showing up in the world is affecting the world outside of us because it's all projection. It's our reality that's based in perspective here, whether it's positive or negative, and it's determined by who and what we're choosing and our intention towards it, right? And so looking through the perspective of that, the screen of play, which is life, you know, outside of us is what we were and where we are seeing it from, whether it's the higher, the lower, the realms, right? And so being from that space, allow yourself to be in the space of love, and that's by choice. We get to choose who and what we're being from that perspective of love, no matter what is going on within us or outside of us. It's choice, right? And when we choose love, we choose source, and we bring that into us, right? And we bring that into our world, our perception, our reality, and we get to change our space, even if it's just for a moment. Because even just that moment um, that we are looking from that, it can change our whole world in instance, because that's all it takes is a moment. Because every moment we are judging all things. Um, and that brings me to just the practice, you know, the practice of being love, who you are in your moment and every day. And so even if it's just getting into that alignment with that practice of being love and showing up as love, right, we get to share in that with others because then not only are we bringing them up to a higher level of love, we're seeing it because we're allowing that to rise that up in others um, as we are being it ourselves out into the world instead of seeing it and judging it and making um, negative thoughts around it, right? Because you're just going to attract more negative thoughts to you um, instead of allowing you to take control of yourself, your mind, and your thoughts and say, today I'm going to be love and what matches with love and draw upon that. It's a law of attraction. So then you're drawing in, you know, the other thoughts that are aligned with it that's going to re resonate with love. And so then you have your practice of being love, right? And so it's just the choosing of your thoughts becoming aware of them, what you're thinking, what you're looking at, and how you're deeming that, you know, about another person, um, which is just a reflection of you, not that meaning that you're you're bad or you're doing it or you're evil, but you are the one viewing it that way, right? And so that is not love, that's judgment when you're in the infraction of being love, right? And so, which is you know, sometimes distilled in us depending on what is our past or how we are, how we've been taught or evolved through this lifetime um, and last, you know, past lifetime. So our evolution does matter. It makes sense. And to our awareness that wherever we are is where we've been, which is in the present moment, which we can always go back to and change, but we can also change it going forward, right? We don't always have to go back and do the healing aspects of it we can change it in the moment so every moment matters right and so every moment that you can see from the lenses of source here now changes our future right and so as we are moving forward through this time um, of the next few years is what i'm getting is going to be a lot of changes a lot of things surfacing a lot of things and momentum that are going to be extracted and brought up and seeing more than what's been going on. So um, in allowing that, just know that we are all love. That's our divine baseline. That is our foundation of source. And anything else other than love isn't. It's just a building on um, the foundation of what's been built for you, kind of like a house, the structure. So you come in as love. And then if you're in a toxic family, then of course that's your building up on the foundation you have to bring that down in order to see it and so seeing it through the eyes of love helps you to break that down within yourself and in the expression into the world that you're adding to which is creating that 
existence and reality outside of yourself, right? And so it's the conditioned space that we're believing in and acting and participating in <laughs> that brings it into fruition, right? And so are we based in love or are we based in negativity and thoughts about what is wrong and how I deserve to judge it and how, um, you know, what I think, you know, what we think matters, but how uh, what I think matters that another person should suffer, you know, how we're deeming them, right? And so, I mean, it all matters who we are and what we're doing in the world, but we don't have a right over anybody else is what I'm saying um, of what they're doing, what they're choosing. And although it doesn't make it right or wrong for them, but it also doesn't make it right or wrong for us to judge them in that way, right? And so what we do with it, our intention and our perception reality matters a great deal, even though you don't think it. And a lot of people think, oh, I have the right to judge them because I'm religious or I'm Christian, you know, and that's wrong and that's wrong and they should get the death penalty and they should do this and they, they should be in jail for prison or blah, 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 blah. And this person's horrible and this person's um, evil, you know. But for us to see that, guess where we are, right? And we're in that frame of reference. We're not in that bodily right? Because we are love. That's our set point. But our frame of reference is in that point in order to be able to see that because otherwise we wouldn't see it, right? So change the perspective, the perception, whenever you know that you're in a negative space, um, looking and projecting at others that you're seeing within them that you have the ability to see within yourself. Because even if you haven't been that in this lifetime, there are other lifetimes that you have been it. Right? So you'll be able to see it. And so sharing that from a frequency of understanding and love, you'll be able to understand that yourself, right? And so as we move forward into these times coming, you know, just put yourself in the space of love and connect it with source. And I hope that helps you as you move forward through uh, the forward times here as we're coming into the new age, the new earth, and bringing things up that need to be brought up so we can change them because that's all basically what that is, is they're coming up so we can make change, right? And so it's a turnaround point for us all. And so instead of judging, looking at it, how are they helping um, to bring this up uh, for us to see it, thanking them, not what they're doing, but for them to thank them for bringing it up so we can see it. And then being part of the change, how can we change it, right? And looking at it from that point of view, which is love, because when we can look at it from a point of change, how can we change this, right? And not just thinking it, but doing it, acting on it. Uh, whenever we are in that space, that is love, right? Making change for a better way. So a lot of people will judge and condemn, but then they just want to complain and be hateful and grumpy and mean in the world <laughs> instead of making the change right, which is peace, right, and putting it to peace and rest um, by making change for something better. And that's going to go across the board. So whether that be, um, you know, schools at home, at work, um, whatever it is, um, there's just going to be a lot of shifting and changes coming. So hopefully that helps and works for you. If not, understand if you don't get it um, and it may not resonate with you, and you can't yet see that um, because of not having the understanding you don't know, uh, which is okay. You know, there's no judgment in that, but it's about learning the process and how it actually works behind the scenes. Um, and as you are practicing love, you'll be able to draw yourself more into that state, and then you'll have the understanding of what I mean, right? And so just practice every day. How can I see this in a way of love instead of negativity, right, in judgment? Um, because I'm just trapping myself in that judgment, adding to that energy, right? And so do you really want that, right? So I'm not saying ignore anything, um, but just change and transform whatever you see as judgment towards another and what they're doing uh, and look at it how would, I, how would source see this. How would Jesus see this? You know, depending on who or what is your higher self or your God um, or your belief system. You know, just um, change that instead of the human person framework. How would they see it, right? And then be in that space, right? Bring that love into you and the, uh, the wellness and awareness, um, who they are and 
how they would be, how they would treat people, and have the understanding in that and bring into the world, you know, more of a positive energy and flow um, instead of helping to create the opposite end of the stick, right? And so hopefully that helps. So happy journey. I think I'm going to end it there. Um, I don't feel like they have anything else to share. So I think we are complete here. Thanks for tuning in. Happy journeys.